man, that ain't cool. So just like I lost a third of my ice cream, commercial duct work, even on new buildings, is leaking 25 to 35%. You're losing a third of your airflow before it ever even gets to the conditioned space. We have a way to combat that with a process called AeroSeal. This process was developed by Lawrence Berkeley Labs through the Department of Energy in the mid-90s. Uh, became available for residential systems in 99-ish or so, and now for commercial buildings in 2003. This process allows us to seal ductwork that we can't even get back to again, stuff that's hidden behind the walls. If I took an exhaust fan on an exhaust duct or an exhaust shaft, and it was leaking just 20% airflow, and I was able to save that airflow, it would be a 95% improvement in fan horsepower. That's a big savings, big dollars. So what if we could save all your building's energy? What if we could save as much as 12,000 CFM or 30 tons of cooling on one duct system? The way this process works is we block off all the supply and return girdles with foam blocks. We pressurize the duct with a high pressure fan system and then we inject glue in an aerosol form into the ductwork. This glue moves its way down the duct and where it goes from high pressure duct to low pressure air, the glue obviously leaks out the hole. As it leaks out, it catches on the edge of the crack and starts sealing the crack shut. And once it's completely sealed, it moves its way down the duct for the next crack. So back to that uh, up to 12,000 CFM leakage comment I meant earlier. That's not a made up number that comes up on a lot of these projects, especially the big ones. Uh, this job here that we did with our partner, Hilton Chicago downtown, the initial leakage was 12,000 CFM and they got it sealed down to about 600, a 95% reduction in leakage, 30 tons of cooling saved. The duct system was so large, they had to divide it up into six different sections and seal them piece by piece. Massive savings for this particular customer. In addition to saving cooling energy and fan energy, there's also IAQ benefits to doing this. This is a local area hospital. Uh, these folks had almost 14,000 CFM leakage, and now they're down to just 600 as well. This was on multiple systems. This is on five different duct systems, but the same kind of idea. When those ducts are sealed tighter, things can't leak from one space to the next space quite as easily. And while we're talking about air quality, the material itself is a vinyl acetate polymer. It's a pretty benign material. It's used in all kinds of products from baby binkies to children's school glue. Uh, so it's pretty safe. Uh, this material, you'll smell it at the beginning and it'll smell like glue, obviously, uh, but then it'll dissipate after a couple hours and you won't even notice it in the building at all anymore. It'll just be sealed in the duct, captured in time. Before and after, the holes can be up to 5 8 inch in diameter uh, and we can seal that up. Anything more than that would probably take too long to seal with this process, but that's the vast majority of these holes. Additionally, this process is not just for these elite giant commercial buildings. You could even do it at your own home. For example, here's my house. And this is what my report looks like when I did mine back in 2013. I had 425 CFM of leakage, basically an 81 inch square hole, and we reduced that down to just 45 CFM of leakage. At my house, I had a problem heating and cooling the bedroom above the garage, which is pretty stereotypical. Uh, that problem is no longer in existence. We're able to heat and cool that room the same as all the other rooms now. So give us a call at TC and we'll help you seal those ducts up and get your one third back. Oh, ice cream.